We have much more right now from Kings Island. That's where we're catching up with our Sheila Gray. The weather looks Thank perfect. Thank you so much, Rob. It is beautiful. It feels fantastic out here. The sun is out. Not much humidity in the air. You know, the 19th of the month is our Think Pink Day, and it's a great reminder for women about preventing and detecting breast cancer and things we should do to keep ourselves healthy. This is Dr. Jennifer Manders with the Christ Hospital in Cincinnati. And she's a breast surgeon. Welcome, Jennifer. Good to Thanks. see you. Thanks for so, um, me. what are some of the most important things women should do to prevent breast cancer? Well, there's all sorts of lifestyle modification that women can do. To to help prevent breast cancer. Mm -hmm. Things like quitting smoking, which I think is the utmost of importance, but also diet and exercise. We should really target things like a low-fat diet. Mm -hmm. uh, fat should be less than 20% of your total calories. Um, exercise, 150 minutes a week is what's recommended, and that should be a combination of uh, weight-bearing and um, aerobic exercise as well. And um, things like um, anti-cancer foods, like um, antioxidants and other things that have been talked about is like the superfoods are really important in helping to prevent breast cancer. And then early detection we all know is how you have your best chance of surviving breast cancer. What are things that, that women need to be looking for and doing to, to look for those signs of breast cancer? Self-examination is important and that should be done on a monthly basis and a physician exam whether it's whatever your healthcare practitioner does um, twice a year for high-risk women but at least once a year for the average risk woman. Self-examination should really include looking in the mirror because changes of the, changes of the skin are important to identify potentially uh, breast cancer changes, nipple discharge, things like that. And then um, annual mammograms starting at age 40 for the average risk woman. And if you have a family history of breast or ovarian cancer, we should really start thinking about doing that at an earlier age and potentially using things like MRI to um, increase the our ability to identify things early. And as a breast surgeon, uh, I'm sure you have seen a lot of adva advancements in treatment of breast cancer. It's not a death sentence. Um, certainly, a lot. The survival rates are so much better than they were even 10 or 20 years ago. What oh, are some absolutely. of the, the new options for women if they are diagnosed? Well, the first and foremost thing that a woman should do is not panic. I mean, I think that the scariest thing is to get that diagnosis of mm -hmm. breast cancer, but really. Breast cancer treatment has become so personalized that we can really treat the cancer specifically based on um, certain aspects, whether it's a genomic identification, look, using things like Oncotype DX testing, um, looking at family history and predicting a BRCA mutation. There are targeted therapies specific to certain receptors on the breast cancer cell. And so, um, and chemotherapy agents have come so dramatically a long way from where they were 20, 30 years ago. Radiation therapy techniques can be done differently than they used to be, even partial breast radiation therapy. So really, we can customize therapy and turn breast cancer from a life-threatening disease to a chronic disease. And, and that's really the good news. It's going to have to be the last word. Dr. Jennifer Manders, thank Thanks. you so much. Thanks so much. Back in a moment.